Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're having a look at the Lancia Stratos HF. It's the 1977 Monte Carlo Rally winner in the famous Alitalia livery. The kit is from Hasegawa. It is in 1 to 24. Let's have a quick look around it. Here we go. There's nothing exciting over here. The, here you have a side view of the kit. You'll find out that the kit is 16 centimeters long and eight centimeters wide. It has 147 pieces. And as mentioned already, the scale is one to 24. And as we always do, let's have a look at the instructions. I find where I put them, here we are. Here we have the instructions of the Lancia Stratos. Here right in front, a little bit of the history of the car in English and Japanese. Color call out right over here is a hobby, uh, hobby color call outs. Then we have uh, the instructions itself. And right at the end, you even can check your spruce. Yeah, these are the classic fold out instructions. You see them right over here and they fold out to a considerable width. Here we are. You see all the construction points. You see the color call outs. You see the dashboard, quite a few numbers around those dashboards, the colors, uh, decals, etc., etc. Here we have uh, more instructions. There we can get long slowly to the end of it. Look at that. Look at that. And isn't that a beauty of a car? Then we get to the end with the iconic lights. Then we have the call out for the decals. Once again, very, very nice, very detailed. Should keep you busy for a little bit. And that are the instructions for the Lancia Stratos HF. As we always do, we'll have a look at the decals. They are packed this time together with the glass. Unfortunately, so we leave the glass in here so nothing happens to it. But we take the decals out so we can have a good look at it. Here we go. See the famous Alitalia decals right over here. We get a bit closer, you can see some uh, details right over here. There we go. There you see quite a few of these uh, dashboard decals strewn around the whole decal sheet. So yeah, that uh, the colors look very vibrant. I'm not quite sure how good they're going to be. They look thin. They look thin enough. They don't look too thick. So uh, yeah, they should be. Well, they look beautiful. So that's for sure. Oh, well, while we have it open, let's have a look at the glass right over here. Let's get this out of the way. Here we go. You see, there's a bit of distortion here, but. Uh, it's a model car made from that distance, what you see through it, there won't be too much. We have lots of lens covers because it has lots of front lights. The very small rear view mirror right over here. And then we have a bit of balls right over here. Which obviously, uh, I don't know what it is. It is a black piece of, feels like a black piece of, of rubber. Anyway. That's in here as well. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Right. Let's get everything in here. We succeeded. Then we also get these. <laughs> Start of my nightmares, photo edge parts, but boy, they look nice. They really are. The mirror, we have even the Rally Monte Carlo sign over here. I mean, this is really pretty. It is very, very pretty. We have the uh, we have the uh, registration plates over here. We have the hood fasteners over here. A couple of uh, grills and air intake covers over here. This even looks part of the engine over here. It's part which you have underneath your carburetor. And then you also have the pedals. So there are quite a few of, uh, and the famous windshield wipers, which are always a nightmare. So we have quite a few of uh, quite a few of photo edge parts where you can detail out your model. These do come in the kit. This is not 
a detailed pack of any sort that comes as standard with the Lancia Stratos HF. Right, let's have a look at the uh, at the uh, spruce. Let's zoom this down. Our oh, manual zoom over here. Here we go. Right, we have the plastic parts right over here. Here's the rear cover, uh, rear cover from the rear window. Here the lights for the front. A couple of other parts which don't look too detailed. Here's the bottom pan, bottom of the bottom pan, if you want to. Here we go. It's the inside. And they were Spartan, this really cool, so don't expect too much snick-snack on the front. Let's have a look at the second wine sprue right over here. Here we go, look at that. The dashboard certainly is detailed. That'll keep you going. You can paint and put decals to your heart's content. Really, really have a go at that one. You have the door covers right over here, nice and simple. That I guess is uh, just a depiction of the spare wheel at the back. Parts of the suspension right over here. Very, very nice. That's the cover for the back. Right, and that is part of the, um, geez, I can call it cooler, part of the cooling mechanism of the car. Radiator, here we go. That word always slips past me. Right, then here we have the seats. One came off so we can have a real close look over here. Looks nice enough detailed. Needs a bit of cleanup, as they always do, don't they? We have the wheels over here, not chromed. Love that, appreciate that. We have uh, mirrors over here, different types of mirrors actually, so that's very nice. Part of the exhaust system right over here. Then uh, A arms and suspension right over here, and here the swollen wheel arches as we know them on the Lancia Stratos HF. Then we have a, a sprue which is black, which we have right over here. Always difficult to see. And uh, this has uh, two steering wheels to choose from right over here. There you go. And uh, brake kits right over here, part of the engine pan and this obviously we have seen uh, not many engine parts in here so it is a curbside model doesn't have any engine details or engine around and again part of the suspension right over there we also can have we nearly forgot about that have a quick look at the tires tires come in the back like this with poly caps let's have a look at it right over here here you see them not bad, not bad at all. It's a little bit closer, not a bad thread, like that. Doesn't seem to have a seam in the middle as well. Does it have any detail, any branding? No, no branding. So here we are, nice and soft. Well, certainly you can put them on once you have assembled the wheels, which I think is always nice. Well, right, let's get that kind of back to the back. And last but not least, We'll obviously come to the gorgeous body right over here. Here we are, the gorgeous body of the Lancia. Um, and you can see the lovely shape, sexy backside. And right over here, door handles has been uh, molded in. Has had these, uh, these levers over here to get the panels off very quickly. Right over here, there's a nice detail for you. And obviously part of the cooling vents right over there. Light cutouts. And here is the body from the from underneath. All right. And uh, yeah, it looks very nice. There's nothing wrong with that. I love that. It's obviously the reason I bought it. I love that particular art here. Bit of a soft spot for Lancia anyway, but yeah, I love the Lancia Stratos. And this particular one, obviously, as we have just mentioned, is the Lancia Stratos HF, which was the rally winner in Monte Carlo in 1977. Hope you guys enjoyed that review. I hope you had a good
good time further and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.